How's it going? Welcome back to another Pokemon Go Battle video here on the channel. Today, we're going to be dipping into some regular Great League for the first time uh, this season. Uh, Defense Deoxys were recently in raids, and I caught a whole bunch of them here, as you can see from my candy stash. And I've got a pretty good one built up here. So we've got a 10, 14, 13, which is one of the better ones that you can get. We've got the pretty typical counter alongside Thunderbolt and Psycho Boost on it. I'm pairing this with just two other good Pokemon that I really like playing. So I'm going to be leading on my Umbreon here, which has the pretty typical Snarl, Foul Play, Last Resort set up on it. I like leading on Umbreon because it's very tanky and it doesn't have too many terrible matchups. It is mediocre into exactly fairy Pokemon, but lines up well into most other things. And then speaking of fairy Pokemon, on the back line, someone that I have been using in the Remix League that I also really like in regular Great League is Nidoqueen. So her poison attacks make her excellent against <coughs> various fairy type Pokemon that people tend to run. And then Earth Power makes her very reasonable into uh, Steel Pokemon that are also also popular. So uh, she has a pretty good, pretty decent matchup against most things other than things like Skarmory. So let's go ahead and dive on into some Great League battles here, here this evening and see how the squad does. Jam, jam some pogo music up a little bit there. I'm gonna wait for an opponent. Come and get it. Umbreon into Toxicroak. Uh, this is a kind of mediocre pairing for us. We'll see. They usually don't have a fighting attack. They do have a fighting attack on the primary. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch out to defense deoxys here mm, i was slow i think i have to sh nah i'm gonna take the hit i don't think we go down from from this it's just a bump. Okay, i'm gonna switch to defense deoxys and we'll see what they switch into they switched into hypno here okay which uh hypno switch makes sense it's not necessarily amazing against deoxys but hypno is not great into umbreon and they know i have an umbreon on my lead <clears throat> Hypno's not necessarily bad into Deoxys. They could have a... This could be a Shadow Ball on this Hypno. Which I think means I'm supposed to shield. We'll see. It could just be a punch as a bait. No, it was in fact a Shadow Ball. So we could read. Go ahead and get Thunderbolt queued up again here. And they shielded. I expect we're going to see another... Shadow Ball queue up. I'm going to just take the hit this time, because we can switch into the Umbreon and then Foul Play, which will force a shield to put them down. Oh, I actually took that hit. That's pretty good. And we got back to the Thunderbolt. Defense Deoxys. Nice and tanky. And they shielded again, so both their shields are down. I'm going to go ahead and put Umbreon up and Foul Play right away. Which should put this down, and then when they put the Toxicroak out, I'm going to switch to Nidoqueen. I think is the plan here. And we'll see if their back line is good into Nidoqueen or not. It's going to come down to what their third Pokemon is for sure. Alright, and they have an Azumarill, which with a full shield up here, we should be good to beat this. And then our earth attack into their toxic croak should leave us in a very good spot here so they have bubble so we're gonna have to shield because it's probably an ice beam although we might get fortunate and have this put them down i don't think it's quite i'm pretty sure they're gonna get a charge attack off no charge attack it's huge because we have a shield here now now it's got to get to earth power and then we should be good to go I'm going to go ahead and shield here just in case this is something, something funky. They have Mudshot. Mudshot's actually super effective against us. Sludge Bomb. Yeah. Okay, here's an Earth Power, and this should be a pretty solid hit. Yep, that'll do pig. Croak. Croak is not a very durable Pokemon. So one decent super effective hit, and it's pretty good there. And it happened exactly like we thought. It came kind of came down to who their backline Pokemon was, and they had a fairy in Tornado Queen, and Nido Queen is very good there. I'm 
Umbreon into Ubastang. Man, that's another bad, bad lead for Umbreon. I'm going to pivot to Nidoqueen right away, I think. Let's see what they do. Talonflame is a decent swap for us because its Poison Fang is fine into it. Pretty neutral switch overall. So this works out for us. I guess neither of our other two Pokemon are amazing into Ubastang, but Ubastang, generally speaking, has a <coughs> has a uh, fighting primary attack, so Deoxys isn't terrible to, I suppose. So this will put down the Talonflame unless they shield, and even if they shield, our primary attack should be able to put it down because it's a double defense drop. And they shielded, yep. So I imagine... Yep, okay. Sick. Think Poison Fang was ready? We're gonna try it. Yep, Poison Fang is ready, and there's the Ubastang. So Queen's gonna go down here, and then we'll get uh we'll get Defense Deoxys right on in here while well, this has a defense drop on it, which you love to see. And we have uh we have a shield lead here as well. Oh right, and this is fighting on the main, so that's kinda kinda great. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Psycho Boost here and then switch into Umbreon. This switch was actually, I think our opponent was just kind of in a rock and a hard place here because they know my last Pokemon is Umbreon. So like when they switch into something that's good against Deoxys here, they know I'm gonna switch. And like Umbreon is good into their Ghost Pokemon in the back line. This is very likely a Bubble Beam, so we're just gonna take the hit. It's an Ice Beam, sure. Honestly, Ice Beam is probably better for us there because it doesn't reduce our attack and it also doesn't hit for a ton. Umbreon is tanky and jealous and doesn't hit particularly hard. There's there's your last shield. Which, I guess that makes sense because Deoxys is just going to primary down their Ubastek, no problem. And are we going to just, like, get through this without using any shields? That's what it's looking like. And honestly, it, it's not always wrong when you get through fights without using your shields. The threat of a shield is frequently uh, more valuable than the use of the shield itself in certain spots. It forces your opponent to use more conservative charge attacks in a lot of positions. <clears throat> All right. Finally got a good lead for us. I'm assuming they're going to switch, and then we'll quickly switch to counter whatever they switch into. So, you have to shield with Nidoqueen into Azumarill, but she'll win the fight still. <clears throat> and they're, they're shielding here, which is decent for us. So, we'll, we'll shield their Ice Beam. Even if this is a play rough, that's still fine. Still takes a lot of their energy. Our Poison Fang is almost back up again. Yep, it's typically Ice Beam. I think, you should, I think it's always correct to shield Nidoqueen into Zoomerill. And then, unless they burn their second shield here, Nidoqueen's primary with double defense drop should put the Zoomerill down before they get back to a charge attack. Okay, and they use their they use their second shield there. And honestly, with that, I think we get back to yeah, we get back to this Poison Fang. Yeah, I think I think that's a poor use of their second shield. So the second Poison Fang puts this down nice and clean. I imagine we're going to see them switch into the Jellicent. And then the hope's going to be... Oh, they went into Stun Fist. That's interesting. Okay, so we're just going to... I guess... I actually made a mistake here. So using my Poison Fang here is wrong because they're out of shields. But I'm not going to get back to the Earth Power beforehand, so we'll just get double Poison Drop here. And then we'll get to switch into the Defense Deoxys, which has counter on the primary. So both of Deoxys' charge moves are very bad here. But <clears throat> the primary attack with double Defense Drop should be very strong. And if they want to shift into Jellicent, we have Umbreon in our backline again for the Jellicent. So we should just be in a very, very good spot here at this point. I think I just take whatever this hit is here. It's just a rock slide, so that was, that was bait. This is another rock slide, so that's fine. And honestly, Umbreon's not terrible into this either, so... That was Earthquake, okay. Even, even the Earthquake, like, not a big deal, right? So now they have... 
They have no shields left. I'm going to want to save my last shield for Deoxys into the Stunfisk, I think. This Umbreon should put this down, no problem. Honestly, the Umbreon might put the, uh... Might put the Stunfisk down, too. I guess there's a good chance this is a Bubble Beam. It's a Shadow Ball. Yeah, not very effective. Umbreon is so good in the Jellicent, and they're out, they're out of shields here. I assume they must be an Ice Beam Shadow Ball. The fact they didn't Bubble Beam there. And even, even Foul Play is neutral into this, which is a pretty solid hit. So I'm going to leave Umbreon in until they use a charge attack. And then when they use a charge attack, I'm going to go ahead and shift into the Oxus. But again, we might, we might not even need to get there at this point. Rock Slide and Earthquake, neither of those are particularly offensive against Ardorko. And then we'll go ahead and switch into Deoxys and put this down real quick. And we, like, <laughs> these fights have been pretty decisive, huh? Like, we finished up a shield there, and I had energy on Umbreon and Deoxys there at the end. This team, this team was very good in my battles off stream too yesterday. Just three, three really good Pokemon overall. On the PvP poke team raider, it rated the coverage that this team has as being poor, but they're just such good mons with good stats that it's hard to, it's pretty easy to power through in matchups that are bad, I think. Another Jellicent into Umbreon, love it. I assume they're going to pivot here. And I would love to pivot into Deoxys, which is super effective on the primary into this normal Pokemon. And doesn't have to shield on whatever this first attack is here. Yep, nice body slam. Honestly, we might just primary this down and just go into the next one with a bunch of energy. Hmm, maybe I burn a bolt here. Actually, nah, I'm gonna... I'm going to burn a shield here, and then we'll have double bolt up for the Jellicent when it comes out. It's a little a little aggressive, but I think we get kill this before it gets back to their body slam here. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be a Jellicent. I've got Dub's Thunderbolt queued up here now. Almost, almost had Dub's Thunderbolt. I think you actually can't quite have two of these. Yep, and they shielded. I'm just gonna go ahead and let them let them put us down here. We, we almost got back to the psych. Honestly, I might have made a mistake there by not going to the psycho boost. Are we getting a bunch of net lag here? That's sad. I feel like we were we were really far ahead here. Oh, did they? I wonder if Pogo had. Pogo had an issue. It looked like they disconnected too. Getting the spinning Pokeball of Doom there in the top left. Hey, and who's the back line? We got two Mons, so they're one or at the same shield. So I imagine, regardless of what this is, we should be in a good spot. Honestly, regardless of what it is, I want to switch to. Yeah, it looks like our opponent, I think the servers might have had an issue there. So I think, I think even without the disconnect here, our team was going to be pretty strongly favored here again. They would have gotten a couple of attacks in, obviously, but with the Umbreon into the Jellicent and then Queen into this Aloha Ninetales with us both having a shield here, we were, we were going to be pretty solid here. Uh, Powdered Snow Ninetales is decent into Nido Queen, but with the Umbreon backing it up as well, I think we'd have definitely taken it down. Had, a, had one of our matches in the set yesterday disconnect on us, so got a, got a freebie tonight to make it up, I suppose. All right, hit me, dealer. Alright, Azumarill lead here. I'm gonna switch to Queen, because they don't always pull 
Azumarill out when you put Queen in, even though Queen is decent, because they're technically both super effective into each other. I like this matchup still from the Queen side. Because as we saw earlier, if they double shield, you're going to be okay. And if they don't shield, we can single shield and take take them down nice and clean. With Nido Queen still being very high. So we'll do this. And then we'll get to Poison Fang again. And then if they shield that Poison Fang... Um, sometimes, sometimes they pull out after, after they Ice Beam and they did not. So they either have to shield here. And if they shield here, we should be able to primary them down before, before they... Uh, yeah, usually, usually get to primary them down before they get to a thing. Alright, so I'm going to Poison Fang here and hope that our switch timer is up. It's going to be close, though. And then we want to go into Defense Deoxys in this matchup. And this is a Rock Slide, most likely, so I'm going to take the hit. Don't think it's fast enough for an Earthquake. Yeah, okay, and there's our, there's our Deoxys in with them having a... Uh, so one defense drop here. I'm going to go ahead and just take this hit. Could be an earthquake, but I think that's still fine. I'm going to Thunderbolt, even though it's not a, not a ton of damage. They'll probably take it, but we're going to be wasting energy here shortly, and I don't want an extra sensory because um, it drops our attack. All right, and this is a rock slide. I think we can take a rock slide here. Let's find out. All right, and we're going to get an extra sensory off against whatever they switch into. This might get their last shield out of them. Oh, not quite. Almost switch, not quite. Ugh, no charge attack there is huge. So Ooh, this is this is really bad for us, so I'm gonna shield here because I think we need to be able to get the second poison fang if we have a hope of a Brian. So we're gonna get to the second poison fang here and then we're gonna switch to the other Umbreon the Umbreon immediately because we want to try and get charging to last resort before they get charging up. So Umbreon is weak to bug, but I think with the double defense drop, the last resort should be more than enough here. Yeah. In fact, we might not even need it. Yeah, we're, just, we're actually just gonna primary them down. So Lunge does uh, not quite half to this Umbreon. And again, another matchup that was kind of tough on the back in terms of typing, but just the quality of our Pokemon, able to just, like, drag us straight on through. Sweet. Pretty, uh, pretty clean sweep there. Got the... Got the old Hawaii 5 0. Honestly, so I went 9 and 1 off stream with the squad uh, last night, and the one loss was one where our Pokemon knocked each other out simultaneously on the third one. So if you have uh, these mods together, I uh, would highly recommend giving this team a try. It's been really good to me. Um, you have some matchups that you're just good in, and the other matchups where the even two or three of their Pokemon line up poorly for you, your Pokemon are just so flexible in terms of the range of attacks that they have that you can really power through it. Um, Nido Queen especially is just a Pokemon I can't sing the praises of enough since the, the Poison Fang, Poison Jab update uh, at the beginning of the season. Just a really stellar Pokemon overall. Good at I love love her in the back line especially because people tend to not use their shields early, and then her Poison Jabs punish their shields being used late by doing that defense drop and then giving her her primary some real some real power uh at any rate thanks for watching i think i'm probably going to try and do a go battle video uh, almost every day this week i've got a lot of teams i want to try out in uh in great league i've got a remix team that i'm excited to give a try with uh tomorrow as well so hopefully you'll drop by again and uh thanks for dropping in this evening peace folks oh let's let's find out i'm gonna record this so this is this is the foil mewtwo right streamer luck Never lucky. Catch you tomorrow, folks.